Former Japanese Prime Minister, Hideki Tojo, sat slumped in an easy chair parallel to the door. His midriff was covered in a red stain. He was out, but he was groaning deeply with each breath. Tojo regained consciousness all of a sudden. Then he said what he undoubtedly believed to be his final words. I wanted to die by the sword, but the pistol had to do. Assume the responsibility for the war, Banzai. Hideki Tojo, a high-ranking army officer from a Japanese military family, is known as Razor. He started his career in the army and made his way up to become a general. From 1940 to 1941, he served as Minister of War, and subsequently as Prime Minister until 1944. Tojo's maiden radio address, as Prime Minister of Japan, called for global peace, but he also proclaimed his commitment to resolving the China affair on Japanese terms, and establishing the Greater East Asia Go Prosperity Sphere, which would unify all Asian nations. During his years in power, Tojo continued to hold the position of Army Minister, and Chief of Staff of the Imperial Army. He also served concurrently as Minister of Home Affairs, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Education, and Minister of Commerce and Industry. The bombing of Pearl Harbor by Hideki Tojo was the first strike in the Japanese-American War. Hideki Tojo was regarded as an embodiment of merciless Japanese militarism. As a powerful hardliner, who had pushed Japan into World War II. People considered Hideki Tojo as Japan's version of Adolf Hitler, or Italy's fascist dictator, Benito Mussolini. He was deemed accountable for the slaughter of millions of civilians in China, and the Far East, including Indonesia as well as thousands of allied prisoners of war. Yup, Tojo Hideki had visited Indonesia, and was greeted with fanfare that was engineered, to please the man with a ruthless character. After the war's tide decisively turned against Japan, Tojo was forced to resign as Prime Minister in July 1944. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 compelled Japan's government to surrender unconditionally. General Douglas MacArthur of the United States then ordered the arrest of 40 people accused of war crimes, including Hideki Tojo. On September 11, 1945, American soldiers encircled Tojo's home. Major Paul Krause, and Lieutenant Jack Wilpers, accompanied by the media, assaulted the front door, after hearing a gunshot from within the mansion. Hideki Tojo, sat slumped in an easy chair, parallel to the door. His midriff was covered in a red stain. He was out, but he was groaning deeply, with each breath. Krause dispatched a jeep to Tokyo in order to provide medical assistance. While waited for a doctor, photographers shot pictures, and reporters wandered the premises. Tojo regained consciousness, all of a sudden. He signaled interviewers with his left arm. They huddled close to him. Then he gave, what he undoubtedly assumed was his final remark in which he accepted responsibility for the war. I wanted to die by the sword, but the pistol had to do. Assume the responsibility for the war. Banzai. He was transported to the hospital, and treated. Tojo was transferred to Shugamo prison, once he recovered from his injuries. While he was there, an American dentist gave him a new set of dentures with the phrase remember, Pearl Harbor covertly drilled into them in Morse code. Three months later, the dentist had deleted the phrase. Some Japanese were furious with him, because he didn't kill himself as honor commanded.
In May 1946, an international tribunal, with judges from 11 countries, began the prosecution of 25 class of war criminals in Tokyo. Hideki Tojo made this speech after accepting full responsibility for his conduct during the war. It is natural that I should bear entire responsibility for the war in general, and, needless to say, I am prepared to do so. Therefore, with respect to my trial, it is my intention to speak frankly, according to my recollection, even though when the vanquished stands before the victor, who has over him the power of life and death, he may be apt to toady and flatter. Tojo was found guilty on multiple charges of waging aggression wars in violation of international law, and ordering brutal treatment of prisoners of war, and others. In the end, he and six other defendants were given death sentences, while the rest were given jail sentences. General Douglas MacArthur of the United States refused to commute the death sentences. Hideki Tojo was roused in his sleep at 23.30 a.m. on December 22, 1948. He was escorted to a chamber near to the gallows by the soldiers. Tojo ate Japanese food, as per his previous desire. Tojo's face was pale the entire time. Hideki Tojo realized his fate had run out at this time, so he called his seven children together, and admitted that they will not tell about anything about his crimes in their future. In Shigamo prison, Tojo and the other six were hung. It was just a few days before Tojo turned 64. Hideki Tojo issued a final statement, in which he apologized for the Japanese military's atrocities, and urged the American forces to show compassion for the Japanese people who had been subjected to devastating air raids and two atomic explosions. After his execution, Tojo's body was cremated. Tojo was one of 14 Japanese convicted of class A war crimes after the Second World War, who are enshrined at the controversial Yasukuni Shrine. Tojo's commemorating tomb is located in a shrine in Nishio, Ichi. In the 1970s, the Shigamo prison was dismantled, leaving only a stone carved in Japanese, with the words pray for eternal peace.